Another thing that like worries me about climate change is the wildlife. Uh, so I don't eat beef or chicken, but I still will eat wild meat, like moose meat, deer, and fish. The only thing is when I eat fish, I do get a bit of anxiety because I don't know what's in the water. Um, I don't know what they're eating. Growing up, my father was a very traditional man. He's a very traditional man, and he lives off the land, and he's taught me a lot about medicine and what like, we need as Anishinaabe people to live. Um, so a lot, one of the concerns we have is the stuff that we eat now to live off the land. Like, what is exactly is it now? It's not the same as it was before. Um, <clears throat> my father can go out and find any medicine for anything. I see him, like, in the city, if um, I had, like, a cold, and he would go out and find cedar for me and make a little pouch to put on my chest and birch bark. I feel like the things that he teaches his kids about those medicines and how to get them with climate change, maybe they won't be around f forever. They won't, um, like my daughter still today, she's six years old and she'll go out and pick medicine and she knows what to do with it. She knows how to make a cedar pouch for like your, your lungs. And um, what if th that isn't around for her kids so she could do that to her kids?